Hello everyone! Welcome to my Paper Pumpkin unboxing. This is September 2022's kit. This is Spooky Treats. Um, so excited to dive into this one. I, I'm really excited. I, I already know what it is. I, I always look for the sneak peeks for Paper Pumpkin, but um, it's so cute. Now, if you want October's Paper Pumpkin, make sure that you subscribe by October 10th to get October's Paper Pumpkin. It's going to be Christmas themed. It's going to be adorable. It's going to come in this adorable box. So if you want October's Paper Pumpkin, make sure you subscribe. And we're going to dive right in. All right. Look at how cute this box is. So can we just... It's so cute. All right. So Paper Pumpkin, we have an Orchid Oasis Stampin' Spot. So I already pulled out my my Orchid Oasis ink pad for that. So I'll save that. We have an adorable stamp set. We'll look at that in a minute. And then our kit which is in black tissue paper this month so it's very cute very spooky okay so our stamp set it has trick-or-treat enjoy this spooky treat happy halloween we have a ghost a spider star spider web and bats so really cute it's a really cute set all right so let's dive right in get that out of the way oh my gosh look at those star embellishments oh my gosh and they're two different sizes oh, so cute i cannot wait all right so make sure you get everything out of here remember the directions are in the front so always make sure you grab those before you get rid of all your kits before you get rid of your kit now i think there's 18 in here yeah there's six of each design so there's 18 aren't those cute those tree boxes all right let's pull this off get rid of that all right so we have in our kit this month we have some little sequin stars which are so cute so two different sizes we have small and large and there's a bunch of them that is a lot of fun little black stars so put those to the side we have some tear and tape adhesive to help put our boxes together i assume um some mini dimensionals a little sheet of mini dimensionals all right so these are the boxes all right let me move let me get this stuff all out of the way oh there's a little ghost so cute all right okay he's that's big it's a lot bigger than i thought it was gonna be okay move the directions out of the way now i'm only gonna make one of each project so i'm gonna grab one of each of these things so we have some like fresh freesia little wraps for our boxes we have this spider web wrap for our box and then coordinating with our actual box itself we have the like the plaid print so those are our box wrappers so i'm going to put those up um, it looks like the black one. Do they show in here? Which ones go with which? So the black one, the black box. These are the boxes themselves. And so the black one goes with that one. So move the rest of them out of the way. Um, looks like the orange one goes with our spider web. And then the white one will go with the fresh freesia one. So cute. All right. And then let's see. Let's see if I can figure this out. So we have our little scallop circles. That will go with the Fresh Freesia one. We have a spider web. That one is going to go with our, our little plaid print one. So that's all on this little die cut sheet. We have, oh my goodness, there's a lot of die cuts on this one. <laughs> Let's start with this Fresh Freesia one, which looks like it goes with the, the little spider web one. And along with that is the, this looks like crushed curry. That one goes with that as well. These little rectangle squares. Looks like it goes with our, our black one. And then we have this little print, which is so cute. This would be in a, a really cute DSP. It's like bats on pumpkin pie. That one looks like it goes over here. All right, I think that's it for that one. We have a ghost that oh we have glue dots here so more adhesive and then we need a little spider and that one is for our of course our little spider web box all right i think that's it we can dig through if we need to find more but i think that is it now remember inside your your instructions you have full color instructions there's also a ruler on the side in case you need to measure anything sometimes our kits come with ribbons so you need to measure it so i think we're just gonna I'm going to put these off to the side. I'm going to stack them up over here. And then we are going to, we'll get started. We'll make one at a time. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I think, I think that was it for that one. Okay. This one. Okay. So we're going to start with this one. So 
I'm going to put my directions off to the side here where I can see them. Let's start with building our box. I saw that, um, you know, in my search for sneak peeks, I saw that some people were having a little bit of trouble with the box. Now, the box itself will require no adhesive at all, which is really fantastic. Um, the wrapper itself, this part, is the part that we're going to need the adhesive for. So we'll get to that in a minute, but let's do our box first. Make sure that you go through and burnish all the score lines. There are a lot of score lines on this box, but um, that's what makes it all go together without adhesive. So make sure you burnish them all. Take the time. It does make a difference in your box. All right, this side, just like that. All right, now on your box, I'm going to lay it out flat like this. On your box, there are three of the tabs have these like half inch tabs and those are actually going to be folded backwards. So everything gets folded in the same direction except for these three little tabs. Okay. And then you have this long piece. This is actually going to be the bottom of your box. So let's go ahead and put this together. So we're going to start on the sides and we're going to fold up the sides like this. And we're going to take the shorter end. So you have this long end over here. We're going to take this shorter end. And this is going to wrap down and there's a little slot slot right here i don't know if you can see that there's a little slot that slot is for this little piece right here i don't know if you can see that little indentation that's going to slide right in so we want to make sure that this just kind of folds down like that we're just gonna hold it in place and i'm gonna put these down actually you know what? let's put our sides down first i think that that's gonna work better so let's put our sides down first like this, then that side. And you can see it's already kind of holding itself together. I'm not holding it. So everything is kind of laying flat in there. Then you're gonna fold this piece in like this and just push it down until it kind of clicks into place. And that is your little box. And we'll make two more of these. So you can see how that goes. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's fold up our little wrapper here. Again, use your bone folder. And let's see, how's this going to go around? This is going to adhere on the bottom just like this. So we need to put some adhesive along that piece. So find the end here. And actually, I think I'm going to put it on this larger piece here, on the back of this one. And then when it wraps around, it'll all be in the right place. So you only need one little piece of adhesive there. Peel off the backing. And I'm going to put my box upside down on here. I'm just going to wrap this shorter side around. This side has the adhesive, just wrap that around. And everything should line up perfectly. And then your box slides in and out. Isn't that cute? Such a cute box. And these are good sizes. You can fit lots of little treats in here. I'm not sure what I would put in here. Lots of little candies would fit in there for sure. All right. And I just realized we should have stamped this before we put it on because like we're supposed to stamp bats on here. We should have stamped it before we adhered it. But that's okay because look, it'll fold flat will be just fine. So grab your ink, your Orchid, Orchid Oasis ink. We're going to do our little bats. And I'm just going to grab a little block here. Oops, put that on on the wrong side. All right. So on the front, on the bigger side, that is not the one that had the glue on it. We're just going to stamp some bats up at the top up here and down in the bottom, just like that on the corners. Okay. I'm going to yeah, keep that out. So let's put our reading on trick or treat grab another block and this is going to go onto our little scallop circle we're going to stamp this onto our our black and white scallop circle trick or treat so cute oh my goodness every time i use orchid oasis i forget how much i like it it's such a good color i'm not a big um purple fan but every time i use orchid oasis i'm like man that color is so pretty Okay, so we're going to stick our, I'm going to stick my box back in here so it's a little more stable. We're going to stick our, our little um, bat piece on here. And I don't know if there's a right side and a wrong side for this. I feel like the bats are going in both directions. I think it goes like this. I think it goes right side up like this. That's just going to go on. And then I'm going to stick the little trick or treat on with dimensionals, which I don't know if that's what they did, but that's what I'm going to do. You can always customize your paper pumpkins. And then we're gonna finish it with some stars. So trick or treat, I'm gonna grab my take your pick tool 
and a couple stars. I'm gonna go with a big one here. Let's bring these over. A couple little ones. One here and one up here. So cute. That is box number one. Isn't that cute? It slides right out. All right, let's make us our second one. This paper pumpkin is so cute. Let's make our second one. So this is our, our outside. That doesn't look like there's any stamping on the actual outside of this one, like on our last one. So I think we can put this one together without worrying about it. But we're going to wait till our box is together. But we will go through and burnish those score lines. And one more on this piece. This would be really cute. So if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber of mine, you always get a PDF with three exclusive projects that I email to you. So you will get that. Um, I don't know if I'll have it done by the end of the week, but hopefully very soon you'll see that in your inbox. You get a, a fun PDF with some ex alternate projects you can use with your kit. And I already have big ideas for this spider web. And it's probably my favorite piece of this whole kit. And I have big ideas for that one. All right, so make sure you go through, burnish all the score lines. You remember these little, these little half inch ones on the sides and on this side. Make sure you fold those backwards. Hang up through. This one gets folded backwards. All right. One more. Oh, two more. One more. Here we go. All right, so let's put these together. So we're going to start again with our sides. So pull up those sides, fold in the, the bottoms like that your short side fold that over just like that i'm going to turn it around and then do the long side and then push it down until it kind of clicks into place there it goes isn't that cute it goes together so easily and now we can adhere this together so i'm going to flip it over we're going to put a line of adhesive on the back here and peel off that backing and then we're going to put our box on, upside down, wrap that short side around, wrap the long side around. Just make sure it's all lined up. And there is your little spider web box. Isn't that cute? I love that it like has a shadow inside the box. It is so stinking cute. This one's so cute. All right, let's grab all of our little pieces. We need to do some stamping on this little piece of fresh freesia here. So that one is the Happy Halloween stamp. I'm going to grab another block. I actually grabbed out my cleaner. I was like, I'll have my cleaner nearby. I'll clean my stamps as I go. Hmm, nope, that's not happening. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Just line that up. All right. Yay. Oh, so cute. All right. Now we need to put on this like crushed curry piece. So I'm actually going to grab my liquid glue. You could use the glue dots in there. Um, I am, how far across does this go? Just across the web so I am just gonna put some glue because I don't want the adhesive to go through the box so I'm just gonna kind of put a line of glue just on the web part here where it's going to adhere to the to the web just like that and let me slide this out so I can just press from the press from the inside just make sure it's all nice and secure that's good all right and we're gonna do the same thing with our little spider although i think he can pretty much stay secure just with the glue right on the the web right there actually let me pull him down a little bit okay just like that so i only added glue right where um his little web is is going to be hidden I hope that makes sense so this will go on i'm going to use those mini dimensionals for this just a couple of mini dimensionals we don't have to worry about this going through the the webbing because it's going to go on that crushed curry piece so peel off the backings of these this is a cute one too because your recipient whoever gets these little treats are is going to be able to see what's inside it right away which i think is really cute so this goes right on there just like that happy halloween so cute and then some stars okay, let's add some stars where's my take your pick tool here it is so going to do, I think I'll do one here. I don't think I'm doing them where they did them, and that's okay. Do one up here, and I think I'll do another one. I want to do three. What should I do with this one down here? 
That's so cute. All right, that's box number two. These boxes are coming together quick. All right, where's my first box? There it is. Okay, so we have one more box. This one I think is maybe the cutest one. So we have one greeting to stamp on here. So let's go ahead and do that before we put together our box. Enjoy this spooky treat. And let's see. I'm running out of smaller blocks. I have a bunch of blocks. I just don't keep them all on my desk. So we'll just use a big block for this. Enjoy this spooky treat. Perfect. And we're going to put this away. And we're going to bring in our box pieces. So let's hold all this up. This would be a great pattern for DSP too. This one and that, that little pumpkin one. So cute. Okay. That and let's burnish all those lines on our box. So you can see one more time how this box goes together. It's very quick to put together. And once and since you're making 18 of them, once you get in the in the rhythm of it, it'll go very quickly. And this one. And I love that they have like the little finger notch in here. I think that's really, it's really clever. It's really thinking ahead. And this one goes backwards. All right. So one more time. Those sides go in. And I'm going to push these lids or the sides down. And then the shorter side goes in. Push that all the way down into the corners. Flip it over. Turn it around and I'll flip it over and then just push this till it clicks into place and you have your sweet little box. All right, let's get some tearing tape on here and peel this off. Right. Put your box down upside down, bring that smaller side in, the larger side and voila, so cute. All right, this one, our little spider web is gonna go on. I'm just gonna put this one flat. The little spider web goes up here. I'm gonna put on both the greeting and the ghost with some dimensionals. So I have some larger ones here from an, a sheet that I already had on my desk. So I'm just gonna use those. So peel this, this off and the ghost dimensionals off. Okay, we're gonna stick our ghost on. And we're going to stick our, our greeting on, just like that. Isn't that cute? All right, stars. Let's finish up with some stars, of course. And so I'm going to do a larger one here and a couple smaller ones. One down here and I think one here. There we go. That is box number three. So that is the, the three boxes that you're going to make. Remember, you're going to get 18 of these in one kit which is just phenomenal i don't know if there's going to be refills for these uh, those i think will be posted on monday they just did the second billing this week so i think if there are going to be refills of these they will be posted on monday you do have to be a paper pumpkin subscriber to get extras so if you want extra extra boxes if you need more um make sure to check the online store on monday or even maybe check it over the weekend in case they post early but that is it. These boxes are so cute. They just slide in and out. I'd love to hear what you're going to put in yours and which one is your favorite, I think. I think this one's my favorite. I do love that spider web. All right, and if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, buy, make sure that you watch your email inbox that the PDF with alternate pro projects will be coming very soon. And thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.